Welcome back. This is part three of Ajax. So in this part three, uh, we're gonna see how to use get and or post to send data from the client side to the server side. That data, once received in the server side, is gonna be run by a server script, a PHP file. So in the this part three. We are not going to uh, request a text file like we did in part 2 or we are not going to request a, an XML file like we did in part 1. This time we are going to instruct the server, we are going to send him, send, send it a request to execute a script, a PHP script. While asking the server to execute a PHP script, we are going to supply some parameters, a user ID for instance. The script here is going to be uh, a user ID, uh, sorry, uh, finding whether the user ID exists or not. So this is our demo number three using PHP file this time. This is a form. All right, so I'm going to run this uh, using the live server. Remember, guys, whenever you want to run something or uh, some project or some files in the web server you have to bring it you have to bring it up here so I'm gonna go here and run the live version of this so this is the form the two things I'm interested in are the input user ID and the error message the span with the error message here the user ID feedback those two elements I'm interested in I'm going to go to demo 3 here and run the uh, HTML. Now, this is what I'm interested in. So, I'm going to enter some user ID. If the user, because I want to register here I'm, as a new user, so if the name I choose is not in the server, I can continue and it's going to submit, or it can, uh, the, the system will register my new user ID. However, if the name exists, it should tell me here in this dot, can you see the dot here? This is the span. It should tell me that the, the user ID already is in the server, exists. Choose another one. So this is the purpose of this demo 3. So once I enter a name here and I go outside, so on blur, whenever I go outside this input, Ajax will run or will execute javascript will send the nano here the value of user id to the server and instruct the server to execute a php file why not blocking this form from continuing doing things all right that's gonna be very fast of course so let's get into it here i have the form All right, so just remember the user ID and the user ID feedback for the error. Now I go to my file here, my uh, JavaScript file. By the way, it's here, you see. So the normal stuff, guys, this will execute or run in it once DOM is has finished loading everything. And in this init or main, you call it whatever you want, we're going to use or get hold of the elements. Uh, that I'm interested in the feedback okay user ID feedback and the user ID value from the user ID, uh, ID here so this is just a value and this is the element once I get I'm gonna send by the way I'm gonna send this to the server the server will run and give me a feedback user exit or user doesn't exist once I got the feedback I'm gonna use it in this element here in the inner HTML of this element so let's start with the Ajax here so when do I run the Ajax uh, process or program uh, code, if you like? I need to have this. Oh, let me remove this one. Or let me use another one. So user ID, the element itself, not the value. And this, I'm just going to make it shorter and use it here. 
the ID that's back. Now I'm gonna add an event listener to you to the user ID. Alright, and I'm gonna say whenever there is a blur or you finish typing and you, you are going from the uh, you are going exiting if you like from the uh, input, so it's gonna be blur. That's the uh, event. Whenever there is a blur, I'm gonna call or uh, let's call it uh, check. Ah, I have a check user ID exist. And there's gonna be an Ajax, okay? A function that uses the Ajax uh, technique. So function check user ID. And what do we do here? We're gonna create we're gonna create the XML HTTP request. Remember XML HTTP request object, and we already did this this code here. So if I go to this code, is uh, a compatibility code compatible with old IE. So basically, in modern nowadays, we're gonna do this. X. Uh, let me write return better. Yeah, return. And here, return, so shortcut. All right, and so we're going to return a new XML HTTP request object. And from now on, we can work with the Ajax here. So XML HTTP dot, let's call it object. So XML. XML HTTP object dot and the first thing we do is open um, okay to use uh, or to set up the parameters of uh, the request then the second thing is gonna be send remember guys uh, so in the open we have many parameters and here we have, we're gonna say which method we're gonna send our request with either get or post Let's use get, then next round we're going to use post. The second one will be the, the URL of the whatever uh, thing you're going to bring or run from the server. So in the URL, I'm going to use a, uh, this one, user exit HTTP. Remember, guys, in demo 2, we used my file 1 and my file 2. In demo 1, we used this file, my file XML. Okay, but this time it's going to be a PHP file. So I'm going to use this name here, user id exit php, that I'm going to code later on. So let's go here and use uh, user id exist dot php. So this is the file here, all right, and true for the asynchronous. Don't do false, okay? It's very uh, kind of rubbish here uh, for whatever we're gonna do with this uh, example so now I'm gonna run I'm gonna execute this from the server but this uh, this file here needs to know what user ID I entered so I'm gonna pass it how do you pass uh, information from the from the uh, form to the server remember guys the query and here we're gonna put user ID equal and plus and this user ID value all right guys do you remember so I, I better user ID here it's not because of this one it's the really uh, the field here or you can call it whatever you like here but just you have to remember it I I usually use a, a consistent way of naming my variables all right uh, send now I'm gonna add an event listener XML uh, dot add event listener listener listen to what ready state change run what once the ready state state change changes okay the value we're gonna run this function this anonymous function so I prefer to put here enter S uh, many code you will see that they do this on ready state change equal or receives an anonymous function and because this is an assignment they have to put semicolon at the end here 
you have to put the semicolon here at the end. So either this way or this one, all right, whichever you like. Now, so let's go with this. The function here is the one that will handle the um, the XML ex uh, sending the request and receiving the, the output. So here we're going to use if uh, if so we're going to send here, remember guys, then if we receive the feedback means it's ready, if it's ready, if it's ready, and, oh gosh, and success, only then I can output or change this. DOM, I'm going to use DOM here. So, do, uh, feedback, uh, back feedback element dot inner html receives content sent by server okay so how do we do that we have this very powerful object xml http request so i'm going to use this object here to check about the readiness which is uh, ready it's called ready state here it's an attribute or a property uh, it must be equal to 4 because it's going to go, remember, through a cycle, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 means the server has already sent back the outcome or the results, whether it's good or not. That's why I need to check whether the uh, outcome is positive, it's success. So this is saved in the status uh, attribute. 200 means success. Remember, guys, you have 404, 403, okay, for not found and um, uh, not allowed, because maybe you need a password or whatever. So when it's really state 4 and status is 200, we're going to pass or put the content or the, the, the output. The output is stored in the response. Remember, response text or XML. Or just response we're gonna use only response all right so let's do this one for the time being and check our code so I save I go here refresh now nano just uh, checking I have 12 Ah, yeah, let me go and uh, go here now. In the PHP, I didn't do this. In PHP, I'm gonna just going to uh, show a message, okay? Show uh, feedback. So just output one message. Feedback from server. All right, just make it easy. Now I saved. Uh, I'm going to go here and refresh. So let's put toggle point here. So I need to blur, I mean to enter something here first, nano. So creating the object, HTML object, remember guys, release state is zero. Now going here, release state is two, it has one, it one through one, then two, then three in progress, then four. 4 is good. So it's 200. Now what's the response, guys? Do you see the response is very bad here? It's giving me the whole code. So in here, in this feedback element.inner.html, which is this one here, the span, you see the feedback, user ID feedback, error message. So in this feedback element, I'm going to have the whole file, which is really bad. Uh, it doesn't show, I don't know why. Feedback element. Let me see here. Maybe I have something wrong. Ah, let me do it again. The error. Oh no. The error is whatever I checked earlier. If I go here, I can now. Uh, Check my feedback element because it's still running. So inner 
Dutch German. Yeah, it's there. So why is it not showing there? Maybe go to this element itself. Ah, display known. Good position left. All right. Uh, apart from that, I don't know. The, uh, maybe it's the, the server here. So in the local server, the response is not really good. Let's do it one more time. Response. Yeah, here. See, ready state is three. Let's go to ready state four. So four is equal to four. Status, but the response here, you see, is the whole file from echo to uh, from the PHP uh, begin to PHP end. Whereas I just wanted this to be in my uh, only the feedback from server. Only this is the output. I wanted to execute. So apparently this 120, I mean the local host here from the live uh, server, from the Atom live server, is not really processing PHP files. Now, what I can do here, just go and use, use the uh, Sonic server, a real server, all right? So I have here DOM3 demo, sorry, and I'm bringing it here in the uh, server. I should, by the way, bring also demo number two. So demo three is in the server, Sonic server, and I'm gonna try the Sonic server. That's with time, uh, 10, JS, yes. So where is number three? Class demo is this one, and number three. Now I'm gonna run the Register F12. Oh, hello, and we are running here on the server, the Sonic server. Okay, so let's see the thing here. Feedback from server, very nice. Can you see it, guys? So it's running, it's good. Now, we did this, that was just testing, guys. What I wanted is this. So to really check whether the user ID exists. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna send the user ID, remember? Which is here, user ID. Now, when I prepare the request and send it to the server, I use the get and this. I'm gonna copy this, control C, and go to my PHP file and put them here. All right, so I don't need this one. It's, uh, sorry, this one was testing good. So, but I want this one. I want this, so. I am running the user uh, PHP file, this one, this is the PHP file, okay, and bypassing this, so I'm going to remove this, bypassing the user ID through the get. Now, we, I'm going to create a local variable, I'm going to use the same name, user ID receives, and like the post, remember last time, the get, we have a super uh, global array in uh, PHP, it's called get. But what we use, we use dollar sign, dollar sign for the variable names and underscore capital letter for the predefined super global variables. We have a bunch of them, get, post, request, and so on. And the uh, parameter we sent was the user ID. So here, basically what I'm doing, I am just saving whatever content in the user ID was put er already in the, from the uh, client side, I am sending it and saving it here. Now, what do I do after I get this? I'm going to check whether this user ID exists in my some predefined values. Uh, the values are, I'm going to put them in array. So, uh, we can, I mean, normally in real life we use a database, but here for the sake of giving an example, I'm going to use an array, a predefined array of, or an array of predefined names. So, my, or let's call it all names, Array, I'm going to define it here, receive, so I'm going to define the first array element, then second array element, etc. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a pause and copy this from the inter from some names from uh, other sources, internet or whatever.
All right, so I have my arrays, my array of names here, and I already got hold of my the user ID sent by the client. Now I'm going to check if this user ID is inside the array. So I can use a loop, all right, but I'm going to use a predefined method. So in PHP it's called if in array, and you guessed it, it receives two parameters, the, so, the field or the, the key I want to look for, and the array name and it's a boolean it returns true or false so if this is true what i'm gonna do i'm gonna echo the error message i'm gonna say that user id so concatenation is dot here already taken else I'm gonna echo. Right, let's just use zero, okay? One character because I'm gonna check uh, my characters or the length of the uh, output. So this is the output, if you like, that will be sent back to clients. This one, or we don't have choice. Either this will be sent. Or this one so when this whole script file is executed the outcome of the whole file is this echo and this one that's why don't use other echoes guys so you don't have to use another echo uh, you have to just make sure that you have one echo that will be executed so I'm gonna save this and uh, go to demo 3 here uh, guys where is demo 3? And I know I copied here the whole folder. I'm going to fix it later. Now, this file is the one I'm going to upload. But I changed this one. You see, it was nothing. It was empty. Now it's 700 with the array. Now we're going to go to this and refresh, register. And Nani I'm gonna go straight to the uh, success when it's really state so I'm gonna remove this from here and go there I'm not gonna go through zero one two three four directly four now see the response guys it's zero because my user ID is Nani and the Nani is nowhere here let's use uh, Frida, all right. So Frida, and the response is zero. Oh, it's not supposed to be zero. Why is that? Uh, this is four four. user id it's user id here good now is if in array this user id if this is true it should give me this one okay, let me just copy this one as well just to make sure it's in uh, it's really reading properly the user id refresh No, zero without the user ID. This is my problem. It's not really reading this one, so let's try this. Echo user ID. Test not plus sorry dot and I'm gonna remove all this just send 
the user right, so this debug I don't have the PHP debugger so I'm doing it this way Control S refresh test column you see test column here this means test column user ID is empty why is that so either the error is here not reading the get user ID properly or the error is in the JavaScript when we send here user ID PHP is good no, user ID equal value, user ID value. Now what about the user ID value? I'm going to check this one. I'm going to check this one, okay? We'll refresh. Mm, we're going to check it here. And probably here as well. B, uh, B, empty. User ID I'm looking for this. Okay, refresh. Now, that's the stupid error here. I'm getting the value even before I key in something. So, this really should be here, should be after I blur here. I can get hold of whatever the user has typed. So Control X. And this really should be here. So once blur add evanescent to user ID, once you type something and you blur, you go you're gonna exit that user ID, you can get the value, not earlier when there is nothing. Okay, so control S. That was the mistake. So I'm gonna go here and control Z. This one is saved, and I'm gonna refresh. So I need to upload both of them. Okay. B B um, I refresh. Okay, I'm gonna refresh. So BB. No, it's good. BB. User ID is BB. Good. What's wrong with this paper? So status is 500. So this is the uh, the the feedback here. Uh, 500 means there is an error internal server error so while I was saving here I might have might have made a mistake my mistake I can see it it was a semicolon here so I'm gonna remove this one altogether that was my error and I'm gonna refresh here and upload user ID this is a good um, experience I mean to, to do some debugging here and to understand things uh, as I always telling you uh, the errors here are very informative sometimes and it shows you some experience in making stupid errors which, with which we're gonna learn you you learn uh, more so the value is good now I'm gonna go here in okay the ready state is zero I didn't send again uh, yet so I go 
here it's 4 because I'm putting here my trap and the stage is, stage is 200 now look at the response good BB already taken so BB already taken I'm in the server here it's running properly now let's continue and enter something because BB is there so that's BB where is BB it's here so I'm gonna enter Baba which is not here all right and when I go here let me resume when I go here see the response is Baba zero because I was checking here guys so I'm not gonna put I'm gonna remove this so it's really branching uh, uh, where I wanted to branch uh, so I'm gonna save now zero it means not found and it's only one character and this is a very long character so in my script I'm gonna use here so if another test if uh, if the response its length is more than two characters this means it's not found okay so I'm gonna put the uh, XML uh, HTTP response as it is else means it's one or two or sorry it's one or zero okay and I know I put there uh, something called um, the, the output as zero so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna put or the inner HTML is gonna be empty means there was no error that's all I'm gonna do all right so when I do this and I refresh and upload the re upload the JavaScript. So let's test the situation here when uh, BB is there. You see, when I go to Helen, Helen zero. I didn't refresh. I didn't. Oh, I didn't upload uh, the user ID PHP. You see, it's different here. All right, update it. Now I see Helen, good. BB, no, no good. Mark is not there. I'm putting the dot here on the border just for me to see that, uh, to see that the error is gonna go there. All right, so that's an Ajax way of requesting a script from the server to execute now we could do it with the other part with the other way which is the uh, post method I'm gonna use the post method now all right because this one is using the query here so I'm gonna remove this no query just the name of the of the PHP file or the PHP server and in the send we're gonna use the query because here I'm gonna use another method it's called the post method remember guys and in the send, we're gonna use what was that? User ID equal, and here it's a plus. What's the value? It's user ID value. All right, so that's the send. Now, because here I'm using the post. When you use the post method, I'm gonna put here post. When you use the post method, we need to add another uh, line of code and that line of code you don't have to remember it, you can just copy it it's setting the header the request header with this with the field value or attribute and value so you have to sandwich the open and the send with the set of course it has to be xml here uh, http object set request header this is the field content type is an application uh, ww form U url encoded okay so the url will be encoded it won't be exposed as it is all right so it's more secure the other one is less secure so with this what do you have to do because i'm sending post of this 
uh, field or attribute in the query, I have to use post and user ID here in my PHP. So here I would use, instead of get, I'm going to use post. The super global array post. And the user ID, luckily I am using the same name, so it's good. It's user ID, and here it's user ID. The code will be exactly the same. I'm just going to put here post. To remember, I'm using the new one, the post, okay? Just a message here. So when I do that, what happened, guys? I have to run it, of course. So refresh. I changed, I believe, in this two the PHP and the JavaScript. So I'm going to drag them both here to the server. Yes, yes. And I'm going to use Camille or Cassandra and Camille, then any other name. So Camille, oh, I have to refresh. Yes, I have to refresh. OK, so Camille. No, because I forgot the another L. Camille. Yes, Camille post. You remember, remember guys? Cassandra. Yes, Cassandra is already po there. Now Cassandra. It's not there. Philip. It's not there. Lim. It's not there. Raj. It's not there. Oh, you got the point, guys. Yuk or Yak. Sorry if I'm pronouncing the name here wrongly. Yak is already there. Let's see? It's in here. All right. So that's it, guys, for this course or this lecture, part number three. We close up the Ajax with this uh, lecture part three. Thank you and do ask me questions when we have a live session. Thank you.